Couple of CPs in possession, trying to move forward, but Wakadia finds both of them, and that might just put the round to bed right then and there. At least they have a kit MIBR, but they're so far away from this. Picks up some extra range, but Brennerzan's got some range of his own with that USP. More work to be done for MIBR. Odds don't look good for this one. Maybe a smoke grenade could isolate some fights here. Zantara's having a look while the wet rest waits. Is there any way they find a smoke defuse here? Smoke has been deployed on that bomb now. Safe's got to get there, but they might stop him with these Glocks. Brennerzan's dropped as is safe, as is drop as well. They're going to stand their ground with a two-man setup. The free fire is there, but also the trade. The numbers game is overwhelming in this mid position, and Safe's got nowhere to go. Four and three for Eternal Fire, looking to move straight into the A-bomb site. Smokes everywhere, exit alone. And that should be the round. No good player. The 5-7 at this range really could be catastrophic for Eternal Fire. That's a very promising start from Brennerzan. Oh, this is a, a big gamble for Eternal Fire. They are risking losing more rifles to the CT side. Kind of leaning towards the... He'll be holding the angle as his teammates spread across the bomb site. And there's Woxic to create some space. The pistols find success again. Even one tech nine is enough for a bad omen for the opponent. Rifles recovered as well in a three on three. This looks great for Eternal Fire. This is the perfect potion for MIBR to lose everything they're carrying right now. This is basically a suicide mission if they go for this. These angles are so bad for them. So, so bad. It's just that. Starting to move into the A-bomb site then, exit drops, but Insani is still here. Again, he needs to hold this area for the retake, but that may be hard as he is surrounded by flame. Smokes will isolate him as well. But there's no closer challenge just yet. Walks into plant four on four, Insani, instant transfer, Brennan to clean up. That changes the complexion of this round completely. Bomb is planted, Woxic in the clutch. That pillar won't help him enough. Round six is here for him. Oh. Wow. Oh, no. That's a huge kill. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Eternal Fire have, like, no nades in this round. So they needed to find an opening. Timings on those grenades through the smoke. Yeah. That one really didn't work out. Brennerzan looking to do more. He's done so much already, but he is done this time. Four on two for Eternal Fire. What's the money like? The money. Location unknown. They are filling the numbers on this bomb site. And that's Tarez with a huge fight. Kalex is here as well. MIBR have to go for this no matter what. Three on four. Safe still standing with the AWP. They have no util for this retake. Just their bodies to throw at the problem. What a problem it is. Woxic with a great angle. Kalex is a good one too. Big swing from the MP9, but it won't be enough. Safe needs a miracle to find a way through this one. No kit in his hands. No Hellfiver. Tied at half time. All favor to MIBR if you ask me. Spin the wheel at Dreamac. We'll see you on site. Santara is playing anti flash for Kadia. The initial engage of the contact man. Contact has been made and Zantares with these jewelries up close waiting for a second opportunity but he'll be denied by Exit who's found two so far. Keeps it a three on three, rotation on the way. Woxic making inroads towards the B-bomb site but also wandering about mid. No one's there, Major coming in from the back and they are looking for him to some degree but surely he gets a headshot here. Just waiting for him to stop moving, lovely from Major. Takes him a while to realize and it's all too late. 3k from him. They never saw him coming. Plenty of guns though. Ooh, how do you find the angle now? He finds the angle. That's even better. Good timing. Even better. That really causes problems. What's Exit's role in this in the meantime? Ooh, that's over. The fire have to figure out what MIBR are doing and Major will do just that. Damage onto the second and he'll get some information for his team. That means Antares can rotate into position. Molly's going to make life difficult for him, but he's still got line of sight here. Finally, that smoke arrives. He's still going to spam away. They're going to jump over him. 
Katie in possession, but the Molly, not enough to force him away. He does go down afterwards, though. 2v2 on this side. Alex charging in. The urgency was high. He wanted to find something before they got into their post-plant positions. Took the risk before Zantares was ready. And now Zantares finds himself alone. Good damage, but he needs some frags here. Trying to find that 1v1. Switching up for the other side. Catch is safe. Exit knows he's in trouble now. Goes for the wide swing. Big headshot. That's a suck. Oh, that could boy. be very costly indeed, but there is the smoke deployed. HG doesn't quite do the work there. The pre-fire from Major will be a good start. Zantara's looking to clean up, but the pinch is here from MIBR, and that pinch really hurts eternal fire. Two on three. Bomb not planted just yet. Kalix closing the distance. Where does he go for the wide swing with this MP9? Lost the jiggling. That would have been a massive second frag. Half the info for Wakadia with this orb creeping into the bomb site. Safe has to wonder where he might be. Kadia may find himself a good angle here, but Safe starts to wonder himself, and that will tie the score. Wipes the money. IBR one away from map point here on their map pitch. Looking to take us to a third. Eternal Fire looking to book their spot straight into the grand final. But they've got work to do here. Down by one round. And if they lose this one, their money would not be good for the next. They kind of have to win right here. Uh-oh. He's got another one. Tarez is a HE. Send it. I want to see it on that pillar. I completely misread that hard, never mind. Minute on the clock. Tani moving up mid. Nervous territory. When you're on a CT side, you're waiting to react, and it's all quiet. Time of Fire love doing this on their T side. Moxic's position could prove strong, though. One false step, and that orb gets firing. Oh, so many targets for him as well. Rounds the corner just in time. Kalex is here to help hold the bomb site. He's been lost. Woxic trying to pre-fire him. They've made the shots at least. He's lost his angle. But they've got the man advantage, Eternal Fire. They need to hold that higher area. It's so important Whoa. for them. Zantares goes down to CT3 emerging as that bomb is planted. And look at the frags rain in for MIBR. Woxic with 12 HP. Needs, does he go for this clutch though? How does he not? He's on the bomb site. He's found a 1v1. Not expecting a second on the site. Drop should have this one for free. He should. But will he? Oh, no. Oh, no. Surely not like this. Not. Surely not like this. Have you no morals? Have you no code? That is absurd. The map on the line. The CTs are holding. Almost a fish for information there from Zantares. Trying to see through the smoke. Oh. That was a beefy nade. Kadia was on just a little under half health there. <laughs> Punctured like a football on a motorway. Santares has been eager to get into action in these last couple of rounds, but I think too eager. Jiggling around that corner, he goes down. And this looks almost certain for MIBR to take this map and take us to a third. Mirage Decider, Warp Paradise. Death by paper cuts, one by one. MIBR have taken no damage in this round just yet. They've just been picking pieces of Eternal Fire like a scab on a knee. Eternal Fire will bleed. Kalex then has got so much to do. There's the trade from Exit and MIBR will force a third and deciding map to see who goes to the final.
Another competitive map in this series, but it is MIBR able to close out their map pick.